Hey everybody, Joe McCall here. How you doing? I have something really exciting to share with you. This is something that, uh, it's one of my favorite strategies in the world in real estate investing. It's something that I've been doing since 2008. It's the strategy that got me out of my job uh, within three months of implementing wholesaling lease options and the strategy that I'm going to show you right now. Within three months, my part-time income doing it surpassed my full-time income. At the time, I was making about $75,000 a year. So this is something that uh, has been my bread and butter over the last six, seven years now. Um, I love this strategy. And so what I want to do here in this video, it's going to be as quick as I can. Um, I want to talk about what wholesaling lease options is. And I'm going to give you some quick steps on how it works. And I'm going to run through a case study. And then I'm also going to tell you about a webinar that I'm doing coming up here in the near future. Um, It'll either be live or it'll be recorded. I'm not sure yet what you'll see when, you, when you're watching this, but I'm going to be doing a webinar where I'm going to be teaching the entire wholesaling lease options topic and holding nothing back. So I'm going to talk about more, of that, more about that in a minute. But if you want to just jump there right now, there should be a button down below where you can get more information about the webinar, or you can go to wlowebinar.com, wlowebinar.com. But... First, let me tell you what lease options are, and I think it's first helpful to understand maybe more of the why. Why wholesaling lease options? And by the way, you should be able to download this mind map or view it down below, but why do I love lease options and wholesaling lease options so much? Number one, because it's fast. Number two, because it's easy. I like to say the easiest way to make money in real estate is to do what's easy, right? So this isn't something that's going to take you months and months and months to learn and once you get a deal, it's not going to take you months to sell it. This is probably, in my opinion, the fastest and easiest way to make big chunks of cash in real estate. Um, that's why I love wholesaling lease options. So number one, it's fast. Number two, it's easy. And there's also a bunch of other reasons, too, I could talk about. It's perfect for the beginner. It's a great way to get cash flow. If you want to keep these lease option deals in your portfolio, you can keep them for long term. Get cash now cash flow and big cash later. Or if you'd rather make a quick nickel than a slow dime, you can wholesale these lease options really quick and make cash right now. Um, there's tons of sellers out there who can't sell, tons of buyers who can't buy. There's limited risk, if any. That's what I love about this strategy. There's very, very little risk to it. You're out of the deal once you find a tenant buyer. If you're going to be wholesaling these lease options, which is a strategy I like to teach, you're out of the deal once the tenant buyer is in there, okay? Um, you don't have to make any payments. You're only dealing with nice houses and nice neighborhoods, so you don't have to worry about going into the uh, into the really rough areas, um, you know, and and trying to you know negotiate and beat the sellers down to fifty cents on the dollar. Basically, you can give the seller whatever price they want, and you're only dealing with nice homes and nice neighborhoods, which makes them what easy and fast to sell. Okay. Um, so there's less risk. You're not taking over the deed. And you really have the ability to help people who have little to no equity in their house. Used to be, and one of the reasons why I found this strategy so appealing to me was I was doing a ton of marketing and throwing away a ton of leads. But now I can do something with those leads that don't have any equity instead of throwing them away. Um, I also love the strategy because you can do this business virtually from anywhere in the world. My family and I have lived in Prague in the Czech Republic. We've taken an RV around the uh, northwestern part of the U.S. for three months. And while we've been traveling in other parts of the world, we still can do wholesaling lease option deals in the United States. And we have. And I have a team that I'll show you uh, how we have a team that does all of that. Um, so it's easy to outsource almost everything. Um, maybe not 100%, but real close, depending on where you're at, where you're at, okay? Um, you don't have to see the house or meet the sellers, obviously, right? Because if I can do these deals from Prague in the Czech Republic then why can't I, you know, why can't I do them here in the backyard? And you never have to see the house or meet the sellers. You just talk to them on the phone. It's non-confrontational. You don't have to negotiate. My offer is this, basically. Seller, what do you want? Okay, I'll get it for you. That's it. Um, you don't have to talk to the seller for more than five minutes to find out if you have a deal or not. And basically, the way I like to do it is I just get some basic information. I'm not trying to sell them on anything. I say, listen, this is what I have. It may be not for you. Don't know. Let me get some basic information and send you an email with some more information. That's it, right? So if they want to do a deal, if they're motivated, ready to do business today, then they can send me the contract back. That's it. No risk at all. Um, no mortgage payments, obviously. I can do as many deals as I want. That's what I really loved about this strategy at first because I used to have like 16 properties. And uh, this is a strategy where I have now a house that I'm advertising 
for rent or for lease option. And I don't have to worry about making mortgage payments on a vacant house. Um, that's huge. Those of you that own a lot of properties, you know what I'm talking about. You don't need a huge marketing budget. You can find almost all the sellers you need for free on Craigslist. Um, and it's just, I love marketing because it's so easy to outsource it. And if you do it right, you can consistently get that marketing coming in, those leads coming in. You don't have to even touch it. It just happens automatically. And it's a great tool in the tool belt. If you're already an experienced investor, you're doing rehabs, or you're doing short sales, or you're doing foreclosures, or you're doing regular wholesaling, this is a tool in your tool belt for all those leads that are coming in that don't have any equity, or maybe if they have equity, they're not willing to share any of it with you. This is a strategy that you can use for that. So it's, I thought it was important to talk about the, the benefits of wholesaling lease options. Now, again, I'm flying through this fast, okay? I'm going to be going into a lot more detail in the webinar that you can get more information if you click the button down below or if you go to wlowebinar.com. Listen, I don't have anything to sell on this video right now. I just want to teach you the basic steps of wholesaling lease options from beginning to end. And it's important to remember this. Keep things simple. Silly. Kiss, right? Keep things simple. Um, I was at a uh, boot camp or like a workshop, you know, where there's a bunch of speakers and I was I was actually one of the featured speakers. And um, one of the, some of the guys that I was listening to, uh, I was just blown away like how complicated they were making everything. And I'm not trying to knock anybody else, but one particular speaker took a big, huge stack of notebooks and saying, when you buy my course, you get this and this and this and this and this. And this thing was like this high. And I was like, wow, man, I would be so overwhelmed if I felt like I had to go through all of that. And he was over delivering on value, but he was also over delivering on, um, you know, just maybe overwhelm, right? So I was sitting in there and I decided, you know what, I'm going to write down, let's see if this opens for me. I want to write down the wholesaling lease option strategy all in one page. And uh, I call it my one page guide to simplicity and sanity. So when you're flipping a deal, this is all you need to do. And I'll walk through these steps here in a minute. I might call them differently or different things, or I may have different steps, but basically nine steps. You find a motivated seller, you talk to the seller, you get the property under a one page contract. You advertise the property for rent to own. You show the home, actually you don't do that. You get a realtor to take the calls and show the home. You pre-qualify your applicants. You close the paperwork. And by the way, my attorney will do all the paperwork for you no matter what state you're in, um, even Texas. And you put the tenant buyer in credit repair. And I have a mortgage broker that will help you qualify the tenant buyers and put them in a credit repair. And then you cash your check, you make your money and move on, rinse and repeat to the next deal. So I wrote this all on one page and it's not that complicated. Now, let me explain it to you this way. There's an A to B to C, okay? I'm going to talk about what lease options are and then how you wholesale them. And it's really simple. You have an A, which is the seller, B is the investor, and C is the end buyer, the tenant buyer. Okay, so just think of it. A is the seller, B is the investor, you're in the middle, and C is the tenant buyer. So what is a lease option, first of all? A lease option is basically a lease, one contract that's a lease with another contract that's the contract to buy the house or the option to buy the house in the future. So you have a lease for two years and a contract or an option contract to buy the house in two years. That's all a lease option is. It's the right to buy the property, but not the obligation. Okay. It's owning, it's, it's controlling property without owning it. Very important. So back to the A to B to C, this is maybe helps in explaining how it's wholesaled or flipped. So first of all, you get it under contract with the seller, the A to B. Okay. I'm going to get it under contract with the seller. That's my option contract. Now I have equitable interest. I'm a principal. I am the buyer of the property. Now, when I turn around and advertise it in the B2C, I'm not advertising the property. I'm advertising the contract that I have. All right. It's important to remember that. Now I have it under contract. I have this property under contract on the A to B. I'm going to advertise the property. I'm going to advertise the contract for a tenant buyer, the B2C. Okay. When I find a good tenant buyer that has a realistic chance of getting a mortgage in one or two years, and I have a mortgage broker that helps with that, I'm going to assign that contract to them, to the tenant buyer. So now it becomes a contract between A and C. Really simple. It's just, just like normal wholesaling, but instead of wholesaling the contract to an investor buyer, I'm wholesaling that contract to a tenant buyer. Does that make sense? So now it becomes a contract between A and C. It's a contract between the seller and the tenant buyers. I'm out of the I'm out of the picture at that point. Now I could stay in the middle, and sometimes I do, depending on how the numbers work. 
When I come into a contract, I'm assuming that I am going to be the investor who stays in the middle and keeps that contract. But if the numbers don't work for me, that's fine. I'm just going to wholesale my A to B contract to the C tenant buyer, and then it becomes a contract between A and C. Does that make sense? Now, again, you can stay in the middle and make more money if you want with sandwich lease options. And sandwich lease options are where you stay in the middle. You can make cash now, cash flow, and cash later. Those are really, really sweet deals, and the market's coming back, and I'm getting more and more excited about sandwich lease options. But the purpose of this video is to talk about wholesaling lease options, so I hope I'm not complicating anything here because it is really simple, okay? I, I think maybe just picturing that A to B to C helps, okay? But keep it simple. Now, the first thing you're going to do is market for sellers, and this is really simple. We're looking for what? What are we looking for? We're looking for sellers in nice homes and nice neighborhoods, and they don't have to be super motivated. Even if they're just semi-motivated, that's cool, and that's a great thing about this strategy because when I was doing a lot of wholesaling, I had to find the most motivated sellers who were desperate, who were willing to sell the property at 50, 60 cents on the dollar, and that's not the case in this when you're wholesaling lease options. So there's a bigger pool of sellers willing to do the lease options that aren't super drop dead mo motivated. All right. Um, you can do this with um, properties that have very little equity, if any. Okay. Um, you're looking for homes in the median price range, nice homes, nice neighborhood. In St. Louis County, where I am, um, median price range is about $100,000 to $125,000. So I'm looking at median price range and a little bit above. I don't do sandwich or flip lease options on properties lower than the median price. I'm looking for three plus bedrooms in good school districts. And remember this, you can only sell homes people want to buy. That's really important to think about. Now, where are the sellers? How do I find them? Well, best place to go is on Craigslist. Now, I don't put ads in Craigslist. I contact the landlords and the for sale by owners that are advertising their properties on Craigslist. So I go to the for rent section and I go for the, to the for sale by owner section. And I go into a lot more detail in the webinar about how I do that because I don't actually do it, right? I have my VA do it in the Philippines or I have my local assistants do it and it all looks like it's coming from me. So I'm not making any cold calls. I'm not um, doing the work of sending the emails or whatever. And there's a lot more. I send text messages and voice messages and I think I talk about that here in a minute. But um, somebody else does all that for me and it all looks like it's coming from me. And I'm only talking to the people who raise their hands saying, yeah, I might be interested, okay? I also go to for sale by owner sites. I look at newspaper classifieds. I love direct to seller marketing and these are maybe postcards and stuff like that. I like sending them to expired listings, absentee owners, and uh, make sure you're only looking in the best zips. That's an important thing. Uh, where else can you get uh, seller leads? Investors and rehabbers are a great uh, resource for referrals. Other wholesalers, you can contact other wholesalers and say, hey, what do you do with those leads you throw away? Send them to me, I'll pay you 25% of the deal or whatever. Project managers, bird dogs are awesome, and realtors, okay? Now, how do you contact the sellers? Real simple, and I'll show you this in the webinar, but I like to contact them with emails, voicemails, text messages, um, and a combination of the three above. Uh, I also like to send direct mail, and postcards and yellow letters, and there's a lot more things. So that's like the only top three favorite things that I like doing. Um, in the webinar, I'll actually show you the exactly how I do the voicemails, how I do the text messages, and how I get my VAs in the Philippines to do it, and how I even get my VAs in the Philippines to do my direct mail. Um, and it's real simple. You don't have to send thousands of postcards a week. Um, I'll show you the exact postcards and yellow letters that I send. It's really, really simple. So important keys in all this. Um, have a virtual assistant do all of it for you. You've got to have a marketing plan. You need to know your numbers. It, you need to break down your, if you want to make 10 grand a month in real estate, that's very doable. Five grand. I could do that in my sleep right now, okay? So th that's not a goal you can't control. You can't control, I want to do two deals a month or three deals a month or I want to make $5,000 a month. But what you can control is you break that down all the way backwards into this is what I have to do every day, every week to get enough leads to talk to enough sellers to make enough offers so I can do two deals a month and make 10 grand a month. Does that make sense? All right, so you've got to have a marketing plan. Uh, and I say this all the time, we're not in the real estate business, we are in the marketing business. So you've got to have a marketing plan, you got to have your numbers, really important. You got to be consistent with your marketing and you need to track your sellers. Every seller lead needs to come into a database. And I use Podio, it's free, it's awesome. Um, I wish I could spend more time talking about it because I love talking about it. It's an amazing tool and you have to have something 
that you can track all your leads. And if you don't have Podio, you can use something as simple as Google Spreadsheets. It's important to also remember, don't waste your time with unmotivated sellers. Um, I have some notes here just real quickly. Um, I got to fly through this. I'm already spent more time than I'm hoped at this point, but, um, you don't have to worry about building rapport. Uh, I think it was Truman said, if you want a friend, go get a dog. You're in business to make money today, not tomorrow. So when you're talking to a seller on the phone, if they're not ready to do business today, that's fine. So there's no pressure at all. You don't have to worry about, you know, being an expert negotiator and trying to convince them to do something. You're the buyer. They need to sell you on their house. So it's really simple. All you do is you ask questions. You're the one asking the questions. You need to play the role of the reluctant buyer. They need to sell their house to you. You're not selling a program. So you should know within three to five minutes if they're ready to do um, a deal with you or not. So I'm going to go through in the webinar the best questions to ask. You don't need to have a long, fancy script. Um, you just need a simple list of questions to ask. That's all you need to do. So don't uh, spend too much time explaining your rent-to-own program. Um, ask them if you can send them an email that explains everything. Tell them, sometimes I'll say, look, I'm in a hurry. I got to go into this meeting. Let me just get some basic information from you and I'll send you something. If you're interested, cool. All right. I'll say sometimes too, my mortgage broker and I have a bunch of buyers right now on the verge of getting a mortgage looking for homes in your neighborhood. You wouldn't be interested in them, would you? Um, then I send them something in the mail. No one else is doing this. This is so important. You're going to be finding as you do this longer and longer, half of your deals are going to come from follow-up. People that you talked to at one time that said no, give them three months to cook. They're going to say, yeah, I'm ready. No one else, I promise you, is sending follow-up things in the mail to these sellers that you talk to. So you should always be sending something in the mail to them. And I like to send even a contract. All right, some great questions to ask the sellers real quick. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your house to see if this would even be something you would be interested in or I would be interested in? Big difference. I like to ask them, what's your situation? How quickly do you need to sell? What would you like to see happen? What are you going to do if you can't sell the house? Rent it? It's a great question. Um, I'm looking for an investment property that I can lease for a couple years and then buy. That wouldn't work for you, would it? Or what would you want to do then? I love that question. Sounds like a really nice house. Why haven't you sold it yet? Or why would you even want to sell it? Um, I already said this, my mortgage broker and I have a bunch of buyers on the verge of getting a mortgage, looking for a home in your area. What if I could lease your property for a couple years, pay the rent on the first of the month, take care of all the day-to-day -day maintenance and repairs, and then buy the house at, that end of the, at the end of that time without you having to pay any commissions, what would you want to do then, Mr. Seller? So pick three or four of those questions. That's all you need to really do, okay? So that is as quickly as I could go through it, marketing for sellers, and that's the most important part. Then you're going to get the property under contract, and I call it the A to B, remember? So do you need to go see the house and meet the seller? Only if you want to. You know, you will get more contracts signed if you go meet the sellers, but I just don't recommend that because it takes too much time. Um, I give the seller my agreement online. They can sign it online. Um, I also sometimes can use a, a notary service. Um, it's not that expensive, 50 bucks, 75 bucks. You can get a notary to go to their house and get the contract signed. Um, so I have some resources I'll share with you in the webinar about that. Um, I, the seller sends me pictures and the seller shows the home. Simple as that. Um, if no negotiating is needed with the sellers, I ask them what do they want. I can get that for them. Then I set the option price and rent. And that's real simple. I, what does the seller want to want to walk away with and what do they want in monthly rent? My rent credits I set, they're really low. Um, so basically the, the option price equals the seller's asking price plus the option deposit, which is my profit, plus any rent credits. Now I'm going to run through those numbers in, um, in the case study down below. But again, this is important. When I'm advertising the price of the home, I take the seller's price that they want to walk away with plus the assignment fee or the option deposit money. That's my profit that I want to keep. And then I add any rent credits, which are seller concessions that go towards closing costs. And that's going to be the option price that I advertise the, the property for. And I also advertise it for the same rent that the seller wants when I'm wholesaling it, okay? Um, now, again, I'm, I'm going through this fast. I'll break down those numbers and show you really clearly and simply in a couple different case studies how that all works. Uh, you also want to make sure the seller is current on their mortgage. Now I have it under contract A to B. I'm going to advertise the house on the B to C. This is so easy, guys. This is so easy. I'm hoping... 
that it's not sounding overwhelming because I'm flying through it so fast. There are a lot of steps involved, but if you've got my checklist, if you just have the contracts and paperwork, it's easy. In fact, you don't even have to do the paperwork. My attorney will do all the paperwork for you, okay? And he puts his name on the contracts as well, which is really cool. The best places to find buyers are Craigslist and Bandit Signs. I advertise them on my website. I do some postlets. I put flyers and signs in the yard in the area. Send it to my buyers list. Do a little social media. If you're not a realtor, hire one, I recommend. And it's important to really, really have a good checklist. Okay, that's advertising the home. Once I find a good tenant buyer who likes the house, and when you're dealing with nice houses and nice neighborhoods, the nice tenant buyers are easy to find, okay? Um, I try to get at least a 3% option deposit or an assignment fee, 3%. So if a house is 150 grand, I'm gonna add, try to get at least a $4,500 option deposit. And that's gonna get applied back to the purchase of the home and that's gonna be my assignment fee and I'll walk through that later. Uh, I wanna make sure they have a realistic chance of getting a mortgage in one or two years. Most importantly, I wanna make sure they can afford the house. And you wanna have a mortgage broker review the application. Um, and I have a mortgage broker that does this all over the country. You can use him. And I also have a company that will do background checks for you. So my, my person that I'm doing, that I work with, will, will call the previous employers, will call the references, will pull their credit, will verify their income, and will um, do all of, excuse me, all this background check and call references and all that, and then give you a report on what they think about this person. Okay. Um, now, once you find a good tenant buyer, you're going to assign the lease option contract to the tenant buyer. So you're going to take the contract you have A to B, and you're going to assign that to C. Now, there's some other extra paperwork in this, but it's really, really simple to do. And again, my attorney will do it for you. You're removing yourself from future risk. You want to make sure the seller signs off on the new tenant buyer and accepts the liability for that tenant buyer. Uh, my attorney will do all the paperwork. And I also have a third-party mortgage uh, payment escrow service where the escrow service will take the rent from the tenant buyer and pay the seller's mortgage first. We'll pay the bank first and anything that's left over will go to the seller. And even if there's a little bit left extra, they'll withdraw the money also from the seller to pay the mortgage. So you can be assured that when you're out of this deal, the mortgage company is getting paid every single month. All right. So you don't have to worry about the tenant buyer making all the payments to the seller and the seller is not paying the bank. And all of a sudden that tenant buyer who has been there 10 months, gets a knock on the door and a foreclosure notice. That doesn't happen in this program. Okay because you're using a third party to collect the rents and pay the mortgage, okay? Then you collect the option deposit as your profit. That's the assignment fee. That's how you make your money, all right? You're out of the deal. You're just assigning your rights away to buy the home. You can use my attorney and title company to handle all of that. You want to make sure that the mortgage, the tenant buyer gets in a good credit repair program, is working with a mortgage broker who's going to follow up and stay involved with that tenant buyer to help them get financing in a year or two. And again, I have a guy that will do that. All right, so the paperwork. Um, pretty simple. I have a uh, one-page lease option agreement with the seller, and I call it my short offer form. It's just a one-page contract between me and the seller. That's all it is. And then once I find a tenant buyer... I'm going to assign the contract back to the tenant buyer with the seller. And there's a few more pieces of paper in there too, but I'm not going to um, take too much time with that. There's also little things, you know, seller's disclosure, lead-based paint, pet agreements and stuff like that. A lot of little stuff, okay, this is real simple, because when you look at the checklist that I have, you just check off the things that you need, okay? And you also have my attorney who will make sure that everything is filled out properly. So don't forget the checklist, all right? Okay, so... Um, recently I asked my uh, students um, on my list to send me any testimonials and deals that they had recently done. This was right before we went on our 10-week um, RV trip around the northwestern quarter of the United States. And so one of my uh, clients, Bob G uh, George, he's from Portland, Oregon, and he I, I got his permission to give this as an example deal. I could show you deals that I've done, but I want to show you deals that other clients and students of mine have done. Now this was a pretty house in a nice neighborhood. I'll show you the pictures here in a minute. This is a um, really nice suburban median priced home in the Portland area. Okay. And of course, this is a check that Bob made on this deal. $7,900. $7,900 bucks. This was taken, this check was a month right before, uh, a month before we left on our, on our trip. Okay. So now this original lead came from uh, a for sale by owner listing on Craigslist. 
So Bob does what I teach. Every day he went in, or his VA, I don't know, went into Craigslist and contacted sellers who were advertising their house and said, hey, I saw your property on Craigslist. You wouldn't consider leasing it for a couple years and then selling it, would you? Seller responded. Actually, no. The seller saved Bob e Bob's email for another nine months. Nine months later, the seller, I don't even know if Bob talked to the seller, but the seller saved the email and then contacted Bob. Um, the seller was trying to sell with the realtor, didn't work out, tried to sell it for sale by home, by owner, and it wasn't working out. The seller was retiring. They were downsizing. They couldn't afford two house payments. So there was some motivation there, okay? Not a whole lot because they had been trying to sell it for a while, but they just wanted to downsize. They were ready to get rid of it, and they didn't want to be landlords, all right? That's why this is so powerful. And they didn't have enough equity to sell the house on the market and pay a commission. So they were really kind of stuck. And that's why lease option was so perfect for them. So uh, Bob started advertising the house on Craigslist. And here's a picture of the ad in Craigslist. It was really simple. 1900, it's a five bedroom, 2400, 2300 square foot, rent to own, beautiful home. It was a uh, pet's welcome. Whenever you can say pets are welcome, that's going to help. So here's the option fee he was advertising. All right, 7,900 bucks. And that was his profit. He got to keep that. Um, Purchase the home anytime within 24 months. The purchase price, option price, would be $292,900. And I'll show you how he came up with that number in a minute. Uh, all five bedrooms have closets. That's nice. Um, 2,300 square foot, large fenced lot. It's just a nice house. The garage has three spaces in it and all the other features. And you know, it's a little trick that you put down here too. Keywords, lease with option to purchase, lease option, lease purchase, rent to own, seller, no banks. So when somebody goes into Craigslist and they type in lease purchase, his house will come up because of those keywords he has down there. Just a little trick. All right. Uh, he put a sign in the yard, really simple. Rent to own, 3% moves you in, phone number. That's it. Um, now, I don't think he put in bandit signs around the neighborhood, but I'll show you the bandit signs that I work, that I use, that works like crazy. You get tons of calls with them. Again, so he advertised an option fee of $7,900. He got a lot of people that called. And not everybody who called was actually interested in the house. Either it was maybe too much or it was too nice or not big enough or whatever. So we really built a large tenant buyer database as he was advertising this house. He found a lot of people with the large down payments. But he found a good buyer, a good qualified buyer in seven days. Somebody who had a good realistic chance of getting a mortgage. Now he used our attorney and escrow company to handle all the paperwork and legal issues and he made $7,900 on this deal, all right? So here's how the numbers worked. Um, the seller had it listed on the MLS for $294,000. After Bob talked to him, he realized the seller wanted to walk away with two eighty-five. dollars So obviously it wasn't selling at that price. He didn't have enough equity in the deal to drop the price low enough that he needed to drop it so that he could sell it. So that was really close to what the seller owed. The seller's not trying to make any money on this deal. They wanted 285 for the house. That's the number that you give in the first contract on the A to B. That's the number you give in the A to B contract. Okay. Um, and so then what Bob did is he added on the option deposit of 7,900. And I think that's 3%. So he took 285 plus 7,900 to come up with the option price. Now, he did not do rent credits, and the reason why is there is some concern about Dodd-Frank. Um, you don't want to have too big of rent credits because then it looks too much like owner financing or whatever. So he just decided not to do any rent credits. Um, I still do rent credits, but they're very small, 100 maybe 200 bucks a month, and they get applied towards the buyer's closing costs at the end if and when they buy the house. Okay, um, But in this case, Bob didn't do rent credits, so that's how we did. He advertised the house for $292,000. Now, he also advertised it for $1,950 in rent. That was a good market rent for that neighborhood. And um, that was what was, was going to be enough to cover the seller's mortgage payment. Okay? So, again, didn't negotiate with the seller at all. He said, what do you want? I'll get it for you. And so, after the, at the end of the day, what happens when the tenant buyer goes to get their financing... The sale price on the contract is going to be $292,900. They're going to credit that tenant buyer back the $7,900 towards their down payment. And so the financing that the seller, the tenant buyer will have to get 
is 285. So basically, the seller, the original seller, will get $285,000 back to them um, to pay off the mortgage and then sell the house completely. Does that make sense? Real simple. Real simple. All right. So I flew that so through that uh, so fast that um, I'm I'm a little worried that I overwhelmed you and I, I gave you too much information, or you're thinking that's crazy. But uh, I want to tell you I'm going to be doing a webinar real soon uh, where I'm going to be going into a lot more detail. I'm not going a lot more in depth. Now I have something I'm doing differently that I've never done before um, in selling this wholesaling lease options course. Now I've sold my course for about four or five years now, and I've traveled all over the country. I've done tons of webinars, and uh, I've been I've been selling it for years for nine ninety seven. But I'm going to be doing something a little different here, differently here, and we'll see if it works. Maybe it won't, but uh, we'll find out. I'm doing a special live webinar uh, this week. Now, depending on when you watch this, it may be a live webinar that I'm doing or a recording of a webinar, but it's going to be a, a really crazy webinar. I've never done this before, and I'm kind of nervous. But I'm going to be teaching the entire wholesaling lease options system in one webinar. I'm not selling anything in this webinar. In fact, even if you wanted to pay me, you couldn't. I wouldn't take your money. So let me explain how this is going to work. I'm going to be teaching the entire course in this webinar. I'm holding nothing back, okay? I'm not going to be teaching just three of the seven steps for marketing. I'm not going to be teaching the three of the ten steps for finding a buyer and just showing you the contracts, you know, and then taking them away. You get everything. You get everything in this webinar, and I'm not going to charge you anything up front for it. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I've sold this in the past for $9.97, okay? I'm lowering the price of my course down to $2.97 for this special webinar. But you don't have to pay anything up front, okay? I want to prove to you that this is the fastest and easiest way to make money in real estate today. So what I'm going to do is I still need your credit card up front, but I'm not going to charge you anything up front, okay? You only have to pay the $2.97 after you've watched the webinar and have decided that you like it. So you have three days. I'm going to do the webinar. If you can't watch it live, that's fine. It'll be recorded and put up online the next day so you can watch it. But you'll have three days to evaluate it. And if you decide this isn't for you, if you decide it was a waste of time, if I didn't give you tremendous value in this webinar, just contact my office. I'm going to give you a special email in the webinar at the end where if you send, you contact us at that email address, we will not charge your card the $297. So it's basically, I'm taking away all the risk. I know a lot of you don't even know me. You don't know who I am. Okay, I'm not going to do what most people typically do in the webinar where they do the dog and pony show and they show you all these testimonials and they, you know, they, I'm not knocking anybody, but um, they just give you just a little part of it, right? And then if you want the rest, you got to pay a thousand bucks. Well, I'm going to, I'm turning that around on its head. I'm saying, look, I'm going to give you everything up front. And then at the end, if you feel like I gave you good value, if you feel like this is something that is really for you and you can do this, then, only then, will you pay the $297. Does that make sense? So if you go to this website at wlowebinar.com, you're going to get more information on what I'm talking about here because this sounds kind of crazy. But if you go to wlowebinar.com, you get more information on how this is going to work. All right? It's like, you know, if you go into a restaurant and you order food, they're not going to charge you for the food first before you eat it, right? I mean, you, you order the food and they deliver it. And if you like it, then you pay for it for the most part, right? But I mean, if they gave you really bad food and if they didn't give you what you ordered, you can just walk out and you don't have to pay for that. So basically, I'm putting my neck on the line, okay? I'm dropping the price 70% from what I used to offer it for, from $9.97 to $2.97. I'm going to be teaching the whole system in one webinar, okay? You still need to have your credit card to get in, but I'm not going to charge you anything, okay? Three days after the webinar, if you love it, just do nothing, and your card will be charged only $297, and you get my entire course, okay? If you didn't like it, send an email to the special email address I'll give you at the end of the webinar, and we won't charge your card. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I dropping the price from $9.97 to $2.97? And why am I basically giving it all away first before you actually pay for it all? It's real simple. 
I want to do more deals. I want to do more wholesaling lease options deals, okay? Now, in the past, I've done podcasts and I've taught and I've done webinars on traditional wholesaling because we're doing a lot of that as well right now. I have another coaching program where we're doing a lot of traditional wholesaling with students all over the country. This is something really unique and niched. This is just going to be about wholesaling lease options, okay? I'm not even going to be talking much about sandwich lease options. I'm not going to be talking about wholesaling. I'm not going to be talking about rehabbing and short sales and buy and hold and all of this other really cool stuff that's awesome that we do. But this is just going to be wholesaling lease options. And I want to do more deals in more markets across the country, okay? I'll explain more in the webinar, but that's really the honest reason why I'm doing this. I don't make much money at all on the upfront sale. I make my money doing deals, and that's why I'm in this business. That's why I love this business. That's why I love teaching it and coaching it um, and, and changing people's lives, okay? So go to WLOwebinar.com. Click the button down below this video, WLOwebinar.com, to get more information. And in fact, what I'll do here, I'll, I'll uh, show you what that looks like in just a minute. All right, guys, so this is the page that you're going to go to when you go to WLOwebinar.com. Now, it's not going to look exactly like this. I don't have the video yet that, I put in, that I'm going to be putting in here, so I have the Looney Tunes video anyway. Um, but when you register for the webinar, you're going to be taken to a page where you need to put in your credit card, okay? This is what you're going to get. You're going to get my entire wholesaling lease options in the webinar. That's it. So you pay $0 now, then you pay $2.97 in three days, only if you're happy and you got tremendous value out of it. I want to prove to you that this is the fastest, easiest way to make money in real estate today. So let me take all the risk, okay? I'm giving away the farm. The cost of the webinar is $297, and you get to try it out for free for three days, but you still have to put in your credit card number up front. If you like it, do nothing, and we'll charge your card in three days after the webinar. If you didn't feel like I delivered on my promise and give you tremendous value, that's fine. Just send us a special email at the email address given at the end of the webinar, and we will not charge your card. Okay. Um, now, this webinar will be live. Um, the next one that I'm doing, and I'm going to be doing a ton of these, so I'm not sure when you're going to be on this site. But um, if it is live, don't worry about it. If you can't make it, um, I will be recording it. It's going to be about two or three hours long. It's going to be a really lengthy web webinar. It will all be recorded, and I'm covering everything in there. I'm going to cover how you can find more seller leads than you can handle all on autopilot without you having to spend an arm and a leg. I'm going to show you the best marketing that's working today and uh, that's the most cost-effective marketing that you need to do. Um, I'm also going to show you how you can sell houses faster and easier than any other type of deal you've done before. It's all about speed. Money loves speed, right? And you're going to be making money fast. I'm going to talk about how to automate and delegate literally everything so you can flip lease options on your laptop while you're on vacation or at the coffee shop, okay? Um, and you're going to have an opportunity at the end to partner with me on deals. That's why I'm doing this. So don't worry about making mistakes. Let me hold you by the hand and walk you through your first couple deals. And that's by application only. It's not for everyone. I'm going to be talking more about that on the webinar. So I really hope to see you there. This is crazy. You can go in through and see all the stuff that's involved with this. I have some bonuses. Uh, Virtual Assistant Resource Center, well, I will actually train your VAs for you. You get all my Podio apps and my training. That's my CRM I use to manage all my leads. I've done a bunch of webinars that I've recorded and you're going to have in here as well as access special private webinars on how to flip houses while on vacation, the Fast Cash Survival Kit, how to flip hard to flip properties, and my lease purchase, lease purchase gut sales training that I did. It's just phenomenal stuff. And then I've done boot camps. You get the videos to all my boot camps. All right. 70% off. Don't pay a dollar. Don't have to pay me a dollar to get on this webinar. You get it all. Okay. So um, thanks. We'll see you guys on the webinar. Take care. Bye-bye.